everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about platform events in Salesforce. This is the part of the streaming API series, uh, which we are doing. Uh, so we have done push topics. We have done change data captures, and now we'll uh, do platform events in Salesforce. So let's start. Uh, so what are platform events? So platform events uh, are used to connect business processes in Salesforce and the external apps through the exchange of real time event data. Uh, platform events uh, publish messages that subscribers receive in real time. To customize the data published, uh, we use the uh, platform events fields. So we, we define a platform events uh, through the UI uh, in the setup uh, and we define its fields. We define its payload, its custom payload. And then uh, we, we can publish that platform events, which uh, can be subscribed by external apps through the use of the streaming API. So if you want more customization in our payload uh, and uh, like we, if uh, we want which all fields uh, we, we can define and then we'll send it, we can use the platform events uh, in Salesforce. So uh, firstly, let's discuss what are the different type of events in streaming API. So uh, we have basically two events. One is custom events, one is data events. In the custom events, we have platform events and we have generic events. So platform events we are covering in this session. Generic events is uh, similar to push topic events, but uh, generic events relate to those changes change, to changes which are not related to Salesforce records. So we have we can create a streaming channel in generic events, and then external users can subscribe to that channel. Uh, for the data events, we have the change data capture, which we covered in the previous session, and then we have the push topic events that we have also covered in the previous session. Uh, so uh, now this is a screenshot of uh, what all features are present in different types of events in Salesforce. Uh, I've added that screenshot. So uh, we, we can define a custom schema as strongly typed fields. So that is only possible in the platform events. We can include user defined fields that is possible in the platform events in the generic events that is not possible in push topic and change data capture. Uh, we can publish events to specific users. Uh, so that is only possible in the generic events. Um, and uh, you can go through all the stuff. I'll add the link uh, in the video description. Uh, so let's uh, again go, to, go through the architecture of the platform events. And uh, this is similar to the streaming API architecture. We have a event producer which will publish the events and that events uh, will be high volume events that will be present in the event bus for uh, 72 hours. Uh, and from the event bus, the event consumer is subscribed uh, to a specific channel. And whenever an event is published, uh, event consumer will be will receive that notification and they will be able to perform any necessary logic based on that uh, notification they have received. So. Now, now the thing is, how can we publish a platform event? So we can publish a platform event using flows or process builders, using Apex, using APIs like REST and SOAP, and lastly, the PubSub API. The PubSub API is the latest edition um, on how to publish the platform event. So uh, using flows and process builder, we can publish the event through UI. Uh, we don't need any manual code. With Apex, uh, we have the event bus.publish method to publish the platform event. Uh, with APIs, we have we can make a post request. Let's say we take REST, we can we can make a post request to uh, the REST URL. So the URL will be slash services slash platform event name, and uh, we can make a post request and that will create a platform event. The, that means a publish a platform event. Now, how we can subscribe to the platform event? We can subscribe it using flows or process builder, using Apex triggers, uh, we in the last uh, video also we have seen how we can subscribe a change data event using uh, Apex triggers that would be similar to that uh, of a platform event. Uh, we can subscribe to a platform event using Lightning components, let's say LWC or Aura, uh, with the EMP API that has been provided by Salesforce. EMP API is based on the Comet D protocol. Then we have the Comet D. Uh, the external users can use Comet D. They can uh, create a uh, EMP connector uh, and then they can publish and subscribe to platform events. Lastly, we have and we can use the PubSub API. So let's do a demo of platform events in Lightning. Uh, firstly, we'll publish events using 
Apex. We'll publish a platform event using Apex. Then we'll subscribe to that platform events in LWC using EMP API. The channel name we will, which we'll subscribe to is slash event slash the platform event name. So let's go to our Salesforce org and start. So firstly, in the quick find, you can uh, type platform events. So you'll get this, just click on that. And this page will open up. Click on new platform event. Uh, so the use case for uh, me is I'll uh, input a Bitcoin price and that Bitcoin price uh, will show up here whenever I publish a platform event in real time. It will update the lightning app and uh, it will show. So uh, I'll name my, name my platform event as Bitcoin price. Uh, so uh, the plural will be Bitcoin prices and uh, I'll just keep the publish behavior as publish after commit. So we have publish immediately and publish after commit. Publish after commit, uh, after we publish a platform event, if it is successful, there is no error, then it will, uh, then only it will publish the event. Otherwise, uh, if we choose publish immediately, then it will just publish the event uh, immediately irrespective of any error. So we'll choose the publish after commit and then the deployment status will be deployed. We'll just save it. So you can see a platform event has been created. It is a high volume. By default, we are not, we are only allowed to create the high volume events. The API name is this, and it is appended by underscore underscore E. Now we'll create a custom fields. So you can see on our platform event, we can only create a custom field of these data types. So since we want the price, we'll select a number. We'll go next. We'll keep the label as price, field label. The, we'll keep the length as 10, decimal places as zero. We'll keep always require value and the default value is zero and then save it. Uh, so I think we are good here. So now what we'll do is we'll copy this uh, API name and we'll go to our uh, LWC and we will just add this slash event slash uh, the platform event name here and uh, we are good. Uh, so uh, let's go through the LWC code here a little bit. So from the Lightning EMP API, we are importing these uh, modules. We are importing subscribe, we are importing unsubscribe on error. So uh, in, then we have the connected callback lifecycle hook, hook of the LWC where we are uh, we are handling the subscribe and then we are registering the error listener in the handle subscribe method we have this function created that uh, that is a callback function after this subscribe has been successful so we are subscribing to this channel name which we have defined at the top and uh, we are providing in the callback function name and uh, uh, this will return a promise and we are handling a promise using then then we after after this is successful, we are saying this dot subscription is equals to response. We have created one object and this object is being updated with response. Now we have this uh, callback function. In this callback function, we are just uh, updating the price value uh, to the JSON from the JSON we have got. We are just updating that price value. I'll, uh, we are all, we'll also print the JSON that we have got. And then this is a getter. This getter will be shown in the HTML. Uh, the current price is this and the subscription would be shown here. This is just a basic tutorial. So yes, let's start. We have defined the Bitcoin, uh, the platform event name here. So this is the AP, this is the page. I'll just uh, refresh it and then I'll go to uh, the execute anonymous window. We can, we'll publish a platform event using Apex. So currently it's showing the current price is not defined. Now, if I go to execute anonymous window and I'll click open execute, uh, I've defined a platform event name. Let's look at this. And we have the price field. The score underscore C will provide in a value. Let's say the value is $22,000. Then we'll publish uh, using eventbus.publish. We can also provide a list, but since we are publishing a single platform event, we'll just import a single event and let's execute. 
the event has been published successfully now let's go to our app let's see the price has been updated successfully the current price is 22,000 and this, this is the JSON which we have got look the channel name is this uh, we have got the payload uh, the data is contained in this payload where we have the created by ID the cre created date and the price the price is $22,000 now let's once again update it let's update it from 22,000 to let's say 10,000 and let's see if the changes are reflected or not uh, currently you can see in the UI it's 22,000 let me click update the event has been published and the changes are reflected look the price has been changed to 10,000 and the price which we have got is 10,000 yeah. so this is how you can use a platform event to manipulate your UI or uh, we can sync data between external system and Salesforce thanks everyone for uh, watching this video please like and subscribe the channel thank you